We want to welcome you to Face to Face. I'm joined with my dear friend, Michael Kulianos. He's the founder and president of Jesus Image. We've just been in the studio together and just really just talking about the things of the Lord. And I really feel that the Holy Spirit just laid something on our hearts that I believe is going to speak to many lives. You know, Paul wrote that I may know him mm. and the power of his resurrection. We live in a social media driven generation. And yet I, I believe some of our concerns in the kingdom is that sometimes social media breaks down that that relational mm -hmm. development learning to be able to communicate and I, I believe eventually it affects our relationship with the Lord mm -hmm. being able to to communicate and commune with him mm -hmm. talk to me about you know social media and what I'm seeing today is this kind of popularity driven Christianity mm -hmm. that you know even affects ministry where now we, we can't even say what, what is the truth of the gospel because we have to be politically correct. Mm -hmm. We have to put it in so many words. Share with me, Michael, what we've just been feeling in the studio. Yeah, I think it's, you know, something that's been uh, in a beautiful way shaking my spirit is the imminent return of Jesus. Yeah. Like he's coming back. Yeah. Even, uh, I feel him now just saying it, but the even if we don't believe it or preach it, he's coming back. Yeah. That being said, we have to determine what success is. Mm. If not, we can spend our whole life chasing something, and then at the end of all the work, Nathan, we offer the Lord an offering that's wood, hay, and stubble, and it burns up. Yeah. So Jesus made it clear in Matthew 7. He said, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied? Have we not cast out demons in your name? Done many wonders in your name? And I'll declare to them, I never knew you depart from me you who practice lawlessness so that success. scripture you know when, whenever I hear that scripture I know this may sound a little extreme but it haunts me that scripture oh, yeah. that, that that scripture is is just brings the fear of God right into you hear my shock heart. in the response yeah Lord Lord yeah not Lord Lord yeah this there's a shock value yeah. there. whoa all this and I never knew, knew you so, so we need to realize that success is the deep knowing of the Lord. Yeah. Actually having an exchange of nature, that God's, we should be more like Jesus today than yesterday. The day will come where we offer the Lord, we give an account for mm -hmm. everything done in the body. Yeah. And we will give the Lord an offering. This is what happened in the body and the Lord will determine this is what will be accepted and make it through holy fire, the scripture says. This is what will not. So this whole popularity thing, we need to, to realize that uh, followers do not mean success. Likes do not mean success. Yeah. How many speaking engagements we get, how big our crowds are. But we love people, but that doesn't necessarily mean, mean success. success. No. So it's what counts for eternity. Exactly. It, and that's the whole thing of but we will stand before the judgment that's seat right. of Christ is that what counts for eternity that's and right. that is not our economy it's the economy of heaven absolutely and it's so, the judgment and righteousness of God yeah and it's got to be silver gold and precious stones and sometimes we we can allow this generation and breaking everything down into an Instagram photograph to, to dilute our words that we we no longer can preach the gospel mm -hmm. oh, because anything true. to do with judgment anything to do with accountability now mm -hmm. is being rejected for this feel-good gospel that we're gonna get you know so many thousand likes mm -hmm. uh, speak about it yeah I mean a, a major news network just did a study and discovered that in the UK the greatest contributing factor for a certain age group of young people regarding depression was their interaction with social media. That, that's just astounding. That's but what's just the, the reason that's the case is because the, the foundation of that is what you think of me and how you view me drives my joy. It's yeah. the foundation. And self-worth. And self-worth. Yeah. When really we should all find that in the presence of Jesus. So I'm really doing my best to give language in our environment, at our ministry, to off the bat determine success. Mm -hmm. Because what about the house mom who never graces a crusade platform? Is she to feel like she didn't measure up, but her kids are loving Jesus when little Tommy gets a cold, she lays hands yeah. on them and they get healed. 
she loves her husband she's humble her eyes glisten with the presence of god yeah so i think as leaders we need to give language to this again like hey this is success to be clothed in the presence of jesus and know and love him and live a pure life and to be obedient absolutely obedient to the call yeah and and you know i preach the message on the crowns mm -hmm. you know the, the, the Lord message. talks about the, the crowns that will be given and those crowns are not measured by the size of ministry it's measured by obedience mm -hmm. and that's what counts for eternity that's right. you know these days I, I see you know we've got definitions of having friends on social media and likes and yet Jesus said make disciples yeah you know I, I preach a message called are you a friend or a follower mm -hmm. and you know we got to teach our generation on what it is to to, to be a disciple, mm -hmm. to pay a price, mm -hmm. that sometimes great success is not what God gives you, it's what He takes away mm -hmm. from you. Very true. That's a very powerful very revelation true. because, you know, throughout the Word you see that God first has to strip before mm -hmm. He then releases true glory and true power. Speak to, to people that are watching right now that we've got this feel good, like we got to feel good, it's got to feel good all the time mm -hmm. and yet I think you'll know that walking with the Lord, it doesn't always feel good, and yet it counts for eternity. Yeah, I mean, the, a life with Jesus is simply, come follow me. Yeah. He called Matthew from the tax collector. Deny booth. yourself. He said, hey, here you go. I'm yeah. your discipleship system. Yeah. Come follow me. Yeah. Uh, it's not easy, but it's wonderful. Uh, the Lord rewards our fruit, according to him, with pruning which doesn't feel good all the time. That bears more fruit, mm -hmm. brings glory to Jesus. Paul told Timothy that all those who pursue godliness will walk through persecution. But notice the bookends of the Beatitudes are being poor in spirit and persecution. Those are the two bookends, both with the same promise, the only two with this promise. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You never see on social media these days people saying how persecuted they are in the sense of, you know, that being for so many likes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yet that's what... Well, and then when it happens, we think we're out of the will of God. Yeah. And I've been on a three-week series now at our church about persecution because it's actually proof that you're in the will of God. Now, there's a difference between our stupidity and persecution. Yeah. If I'm mean to you and you're like, hey, uh, there's distance here. You're not persecuting me. Mm -hmm. I've been mean to you. If I dishonor my parents and there's an issue there, that's not persecution. But when I pursue godliness, like Paul told Timothy, Paul told Timothy, persecution is promised. But the blessedness isn't just on the far end of the persecution. Jesus said, blessed are you when men revile you wow. and persecute you. So there's a level of presence you cannot receive outside of radical discipleship, which entails persecution that absolutely contradicts, I live for popularity. Mm -hmm. I want to, as Bill Johnson says this, he says, I want to be famous in heaven, I want to be famous in hell. Whatever happens down here, I'm really not concerned with. Wow. You know, I really feel that people need to hear this so much mm -hmm. because, you know, today, we, we sometimes I, I, people write to me and they, they've got a perception of ministry. Mm -hmm. And I think it's all through 28 characters of, <laughs> of some social media posts that mm -hmm. they really don't understand. Mm -hmm. And I really feel that we got to build relationship. Listen, I really believe that today the Lord is speaking to somebody right now that God wants more than just a like. He wants you to be a follower. He wants you to give up your life, lay it down at the cross. The Bible, Jesus said, Pick, take up your cross and follow me. Michael, is there anything else that you want to share? We've got a few moments. Yeah, I just, I, I feel like we have to zealously proclaim what is utmost in the heart of God and then live for that and only that so the Whether Lord people like it or not oh yeah I mean Jesus said this one thing is needed to Martha notice Martha invited him in mm -hmm. but didn't give him what he wanted when he came in yeah so it's possible to say Jesus come on in come into my heart and once he comes in he, he wants something he wants our everything and our love it's the first and great command because it's first and primary on his heart. Yeah. Or he would not have made it first and great command. Wow. Loving Jesus, his love, obeying the beauty of his voice and presence is success. And let the chips fall where they may after that. 
You know, I believe God is speaking right now. Take your place, take your stand. Listen, we got to give our all for this generation. Yes. That's what you'll be rewarded on that day, your obedience to the call of Christ. I just believe God has been speaking to people today that God wants a deep, intimate relationship with every single one of you. Don't be just someone that likes Jesus. Be a follower, be a disciple. You know, I believe that what God has called you to is one day you will stand before him and give an account. And that's what will count for eternity, your obedience. We'll see you next time on Face to Face.